Over the last 200 years, we've witnessed a rapid increase in energy use worldwide. We're already feeling the impact of climate change, and soon our planet won't be able to sustain our lifestyles anymore. We need new, efficient ways to consume and produce energy. That is why the Chalmers Campus acts as one huge testbed for infrastructure and live research projects, sort of like a simulated sustainable city. We don't have time for full lists of projects. There are a lot of them. And since you did press energy, let's talk energy. Let's see. We have the Smart Building Complex, the Chalmers Power Central, and the Solar Initiative. So, what is the Smart Building Complex? Here's the idea. Most of the world's resources are consumed in cities. Here, the impact of a single green building is tiny and less supported by sustainable infrastructure and culture for that matter. So by focusing on this entire campus area, we hope to save more energy than if each building were to be optimized individually. For example, the excess heat from cooling this building can be used to heat this one or this one. And over here is the Chalmers Power Central. It's an advanced research facility focusing on carbon capture and biomass gasification. It generates heat to about 70% of the entire campus. At the Power Central, we bring together researchers, industrial actors and the public sector. This creates exciting research areas and new ideas for a climate-friendly future. What about solar energy? Researchers at Chalmers are currently working on a way to squeeze more juice out of those few glimpses of sunshine we get here in Gothenburg. The sun may be a near, infinite and renewable source of energy, but today's solar cells cannot convert all the sunlight to its full potential. Why? Well, sunlight contains the full spectrum of colours, but only the photons in blue light can be used in a common solar cell. The photon's energy in red light is too weak, so a lot of energy is going unused. Researchers at Chalmers Solar Initiative have an idea to change this. A photon conversion layer that allows us to use much more of the sunlight spectrum. It could even be added to existing solar cells. And speaking of solar cells, here are all the spots on campus that are suitable for solar panels. Many, right? Imagine scaling this up to the entire city where every rooftop could efficiently generate solar energy. We could power almost all of Gothenburg. Like I said, these are just a few of many examples of live research at Chalmers. Go to the university website or have a walk around campus to find out more. If you have the energy for it.